good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new 2-in-1 WWE Ultimate Edition review for you guys, as you guys can see. And it is on the brand new John Cena and The Rock Ultimate Edition figures from Mattel. Really excited for these, man. I think they look fantastic. John Cena, as you guys know, is my goat. And this is actually one of my favorite gears and attires and looks that he ever wore in his entire career. And then we have The Rock over here. We finally have sort of a jacked torso for him. I think it's going to look really well. I'm excited to see how it poses around, especially after we just got that Rock and Sock Connection Rock. I'm really excited to see how this one poses around and stuff, but if you guys wanted to see the front viewing window, here it is in all of its glory. Interchangeable heads, t-shirts, championship belts. You guys know how the Ultimate Edition line rocks. On the side here, you do get an image of John Cena there and The Rock. On the back, you get product shots of both of the figures here. You get images of the talent down here. Got a little bio read right there. If you'd like to read either of them, you can pause it now. Information over here. On the other side, it just says The Rock and John Cena. Cena. And at the top of the packaging, it also says The Rock and John Cena up there. If you guys wanted to see that, boom, there you go. Running out of room here, man. I'm, I'm serious. I want to change up the review station. Like, I want to make it look a little bit better. So, we'll see. I, I'm still playing around with that, trying to mess around with that. But if you guys would like to grab these, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles using promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Tons of pre-orders going on, man. Ultimate Editions, Ringside Exclusives, SDCC was yesterday. If you missed the coverage of that, go check it out on the channel from yesterday's video. Tons and tons of new figures coming. If you want to pre-order some of it, go to WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. You guys are the absolute goats. But before we dive into the figures themselves, man, the only way to do so is to crack them out of the packaging. So let's go ahead and crack these guys out of the packaging and see how these Ultimate Editions fare against the rest of them. So here's John Cena and The Rock out of their packaging, man. Liking what I'm seeing so far. Took some time, posed them around, checked out their accessories a little bit to get familiar with it for you guys. Always do that for the reviews. That way we can uh, give you the best possible review of it. List any issues, list any things we love. Now, we'll say, in a perfect world, I would, I would do these guys separately because I feel like they come with so much and they have so many details. I would really like to dedicate a video to John Cena solely and then The Rock solely. But since, you know, so many different people get them and then there's so many reviews out there, I don't know if you guys would be interested in separate reviews of them. But since this is a two-in-one, guys, we're going to have to dive into The Rock's accessories first and then The Rock, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at John Cena's accessories and John Cena. I'm super hyped to dive into these, man. Can't wait any longer. Let's go ahead and get into The Rock's accessories. So getting into the Rock's accessories, guys, starting out first, we do get three interchangeable head sculpts with this Ultimate Edition, as you guys know. Starting out first with the one that comes out of the packaging. So for this head sculpt, they were kind of going for that, like, I don't know, kind of like piercing stare that the Rock uses usually, you know, when somebody's talking ish or, you know, he's waiting for him to turn around and hit him with a rock bottom. That's what that kind of reminds me of. The eyes look a bit buggy or, or something like that, but I think the likeness is there. It's not bad. I think over this, I would have liked to seen a screaming head sculpt much like like we got with his other Ultimate Edition, but uh, it's not bad. It's not bad at all, and at least, I don't know what that little thing is right there. Is that a piece of glitter? I don't know what's going on right there. Anyways, the next head sculpt that we get, guys, is the People's Eyebrow, and I like this head sculpt. I'm just sick of seeing it. I feel like I've seen this head sculpt and this smiling head sculpt 384 times exactly from different basics and elites and everything like that. I feel like I've seen both of these head sculpts so many different times. It is so time for some new rock head sculpts. Like, I don't know what we gotta do. This is also coming on his new Hollywood Elite. I need to see some new Rock head sculpts. I'm just sick of seeing the same ones. I don't know what it is. None of them just are uncanny perfect. So hopefully that can happen one day. But here is your Rock head sculpts that come with the figure. Not bad, just uh, think they could be better. We also have the WWE Championship from 2013. Everybody keeps saying that the middle plate looks a bit off. And I agree, it just doesn't look right. It's like it do it's not scratchy enough or something. It's like it's missing, like the black that's supposed to go in between these lines or something like that. Maybe I could fix it up or something or interchange the plate with a 2013 championship. But it does come with rock side plates, which is really cool. I don't know why they decided this figure should be the first figure with the side plates. I guess it's because maybe he was the first one to have the custom side plates like that, not including ones from the past, but for this current championship. So maybe, I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking. However, I like it. We also have the scratch WWE mic that we've seen multiple times in the past. We have a cloth soldier shirt. I don't know why, but I don't remember him 
him wearing this whatsoever. It does say Team Bring It up here. It's got this like Samoan half circle logo here. It says Soldier down the middle there. And I don't know, I feel like the Just Bring It shirt would have been better. Like the sleeveless Just Bring It one in cloth would have been really cool. But I, I like it, you know, it's something a little bit different, a little bit outside the box. I'm all for cloth t-shirts, so it doesn't really bother me. It does have Velcro though, and the John Cena one has Velcro, even though the Stone Cold Steve Austin one didn't have Velcro. I thought we were just moving away from that completely, but I guess we're going to slowly but surely do that. However, there is your cloth shirt. And then for your interchangeable hands, out of the packaging, he does have mic holding hands. And then he comes with interchangeable fists to kick candy asses. You have the, the pre just bring it hands or the ricochet hands. And then you have the post just bring it hands. So you guys know he'll be like, you know, You get, you get what I'm saying. He's telling you to bring it. But that pretty much wraps up our rock accessories, man. All right, guys, so getting into the rock head sculpt, we already took a look at it, but you guys can see what it looks like on the figure. I like the way it looks on the figure. This is probably my favorite head sculpt out of the three if I had to, you know, if I had to pick just one, I would pick this one. Again, it just looks a bit off, right? Like, it looks like the rock. I just think it's missing a little bit there. But going down into the torso, man, really like this torso. It is a newer torso. Him and John Cena actually use the same torso, if you guys can believe that. But you guys can see there. It doesn't have the updated bull tattoo, but you do get the Brahma bull over here. You do have his nice Samoan piece right there, which looks really good. One thing that I think is a little bit odd is when you take out the butterfly joints or when you stretch this out, it repeats the tattoo right there. I think they should have just continued with this pattern, like just continue that on. Like just take this and stretch it out. That way when you stretch it out like this, you don't get the same thing back to back like that. And I think that would have added to it a little bit, but I understand it. You know, probably something that was out of their control, but it doesn't look terrible. I just hope that, you know, Know, like during a pick fed or something maybe you won't even be able to notice it or something however double jointed arms you get the black elbow pads on there black trunks with the rock on there it feels really good to pose around i like the you know the butterfly joints feel good and the diaphragm you know the ab crunch isn't the greatest on the ultimate editions however i like the way this figure feels like the legs feel good and everything like that you get the big legs it is not on ball joints you have the regular black knee pads regular rock boots that does have the toe articulation or the toe hinge right there and i don't know man overall i really like this this figure like it feels good in the hand and everything like that i honestly wish i wish i had the rock in my pick fed like he would be a really fun superstar to book and it just it looks really good like I, I think this torso makes the figure look really proportionate and it looks like the rock a lot which is what a lot of rock figures i feel like struggle with so i like it and then we also have the new hollywood elite coming out that also has the updated tattoo on the torso so maybe we can put that guy in trunks or something but i'm liking this a lot man it looks really good you also have the brahma bull in the silver on the back of the figure so i think uh pretty solid little rock ultimate edition man now for your rock ultimate edition comparison guys here is my ultimate edition i put him in pants and like i did all kinds of stuff because literally we just got the uh, rock and sock connection over here and this is pretty much the same figure like this figure is this figure except an elite and not an ultimate they're in the same attire i mean there's a lot of different stuff going on except this has a better ab crunch and no double jointed arms but i wanted to uh, make like a promo gear rock so i went ahead and did that we did that on surgery i think but the double jointed arms look good and everything and it's cool to see you know one rock from the Attitude Era and then a more of an updated modern rock even though it is missing the updated tattoo. It can work for a rock that uh, you know it's more of a modern rock without the updated tattoo but it's kind of cool to see like the different eras of rock right there. So adding these guys up on my rock shelf will be really nice. I actually have a ton of rock figures so this is uh I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm running out of room man. I need to get a bigger room. Like ridiculous man. Ridiculous. But that does it for your rock figure comparisons. And then getting into John Cena's accessories guys starting out first with the head sculpt like we've seen very similar to the rock as far as accessories are concerned t-shirt championship three interchangeable heads i will say though i like the john cena ones a little bit better but we have seen these head sculpts before and they reuse this head sculpt that i'm not a fan of i don't know what it is about this head sculpt but i don't like it i think the likeness is there at certain angles it's just like the face is long or something and john cena has a long face i just don't know what it is that i i'm just not feeling about it it's not bad or anything it's just not one that i typically like to use Outside of that, we also have the basic 100 head sculpt with the smile. This one's really good. It looks just like him. I think the lightness is just 100% there. Absolutely fantastic. But my favorite one has got to be the screaming head sculpt or the yelling head sculpt right there. Reminds me a lot of, you know, the Jax ones. And uh, this is my favorite John Cena head I think they've ever done. It's definitely up there for sure. But I think over both of these or on this one, I would have loved to seen like a determined head. Kind of like the Elite 3 head sculpt, if you guys know what I'm talking about. We'll see it in our comparison. 
comparisons part of the video. Would have liked to seen a determined head sculpt or a pissed off head sculpt. However, you know, it's still a good head. I still like the heads. It's just, uh, you know, in a perfect world, I, I would have liked to not seen any re-releases. Right here, guys, we have a WWE Championship in the spinner belt. A lot of people were thinking that this would spin. It does not. It does not spin. I, I don't, if it does spin, Brad, mine does not. I don't think that's the thing, but classic WWE spinner. Absolutely iconic. Absolutely beautiful. Around this time, John Cena wouldn't be seen without this, so that is beautiful. We also have one of my favorite t-shirt, armband, and hat designs ever. You get the Hustle Loyalty Respect shirt in the black with the white painted on there. Velcro on the back like we talked about before. It doesn't have the Chain Gang logo on the sleeve. Not a huge deal. Just something to mention. And then we have the Chain Gang hat. Now this is actually a new hat. This is not a hat that we've seen in the past. And I'll do a comparison with that in a second. But if you guys wanted to see what it looks like on the figures I think it fits the figures pretty daggum good and I, I love it man. That is just iconic right there. That is absolutely giddy man. I love that to death but the last version we got of the Chain Gang hat guys did have the white logo with the black hat which was accurate you know when they gave it to us but he had two different versions where it was a black logo with white outline and I'm super glad that they were that they paid attention to detail and they didn't just give us a re-release of the same hat outside of that guys he does come with mic holding hands you can't see me hands and then he has the hang loose hands which I guess works but I think it would have been cool to give us the three finger salute hand that he was doing around this time I think that would have been pretty cool but you know it is what it is I'll take it no issues with that and then of course you have his dog tags and that does it for John Cena's accessories so getting into John Cena, guys, starting out at the top of the head sculpt again. We already kind of took a look at it, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time on it, but it does look good on the figure. Going down into the torso, again, we've already discussed the torso a little bit. It's the same one that they used for the rock. I about knocked the camera over there. Double jointed arms look fantastic. I really like the way these blend in because, you know, he doesn't have tattoos or stuff, so the, the torso looks really good. He does have his slight underwear showing there with the chain gang logos, which I love. This is my favorite combination of armbands, if I'm not mistaken, ever that he's ever worn. And one thing that you might could do is you could get the last ultimate edition you could actually get you could do a lot of different pairings but if you ended up picking up a couple of these you could pop off the white you can't see me band and put it over here and have the full white gear or you could end up getting you know another one and then using the chain gang ones over here to give them the two chain gang with the white ones so there's like some cool things that you can do you can play around with but uh i love this the you can't see me the white you can't see me arm bands and then the black chain gang which we've seen on other figures but the the sculpted sweatbands that are removable are just outstanding. This has always been one of my favorites. The bicep band with the black outline and the chain gang logo there. It's just so beautiful and nostalgic for me, man. I absolutely love it. Going down into the black pants, again, this gear is just freaking iconic for me, so I, I just love this, but white chain gang logo right here. Maybe they'll give us the green version one day. I know we've gotten it in basic form. On the back, it does say John Cena right here, and then limited edition. It's actually supposed to say Mitchell and Ness, but you know, they can't, they can obviously due to copyright and trademark and stuff, they can't do that, but legs look good and everything. I really wish they would redo these legs. Like, just to get, I don't know, just give us something new with it, but I still like the way they look. They don't feel as loosey-goosey or as, like, stiff as other figures, and then he does have the all-black shoes down here with the toe hinge, which we saw in his last Ultimate Edition, and I feel like this one does stand better. I feel like it does stand a little bit better here. Articulation looks pretty good. The butterfly joints aren't, like, super loose or anything, so I don't know, man. I think you're gonna be pretty happy with this John Cena. I like this one better than the first Ultimate Edition because I like the tire better but let's go ahead and get into our comparison so for your john cena ultimate edition comparisons guys here is the first ultimate edition on the left in the royal rumble 2008 i don't know why the hell you'd say royal rumble 2008 that sounds terrible royal rumble 2008 and then you have the other one right here which i really love from around 2006 and i feel like this one's slightly taller like what's up with that i don't know i don't know where that came from or or if this one's just slightly bent or something hold up just a second or maybe i guess it's the the new torso made him slightly taller yeah i think it's the new torso so that made him slightly taller. However, I definitely like this one more. It just, I, I don't know. They're both sick, though, I will say. They, I, like, I wish I could have, like, 20 of each for fix-ups and customs and stuff like that, but I really do love both. I, I'd say if you guys missed out on this one, definitely grab this one. If you already have this one, I'd still say upgrade. This one's better, man. This one's great. More iconic, at least to me. Yeah, man, this is this is gorgeous. Really enjoying this, man. I, I, I got a little, got a little something special going on there, young man. But then I had my custom Cena that I've had forever that uh, was pretty much 
much based off this gear, except I have white shoes on there, but you guys can see there, uh, the armbands are painted on, the shirt's custom made, and even the hat is accurate. See, this is what I would love to see a modern take on, the determined pissed off head skull, but you guys can see the difference there between the two, and yeah, where my, uh, yeah, I, I was way ahead of the curve there, just because you guys know the John Cena collection, but that does it for your John Cena figure comparisons. But anyways, guys, I think that is pretty much going to wrap up this two-in-one Ultimate Edition WWE figure review on John Cena and The Rock, man. Overall, had a really fun time reviewing these. I think they're great. Hopefully, you know, The Rock won't skyrocket in price like his first one. Probably won't because it's not Amazon exclusive, man. Those Amazon exclusive ones just always shoot up crazy in price. Like, I think his ult his first Ultimate goes for like $200 or something like that, which is utterly ridiculous. Great figure, though. Not going to lie to you, but I would recommend both. I would highly recommend both, but I'm also a John Cena, like the biggest John Cena fan you'll find. And But I think, like, for a modern take on The Rock, bald head sculpt, like, pre-new bull tattoo, this is the perfect figure. Like, don't waste your time going to get any other rock, man. This is the rock that you should go track down. It's brand new. You get the cloth shirt. You get the accessories. You get the, you know, the interchangeable hands. It's just the, it's the best modern rock for sure. But go over to Ringside Collectibles, man. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout-out. And this shout-out's gonna go to Khalil Cannon, who says, yes, they finally give Randy mic-holding hands. And yes, they did, Brad. They finally gave him the mic-holding hands on his new WrestleMania Elite. I think it's gonna be Elite 90, Randy Orton, so that's gonna be freaking awesome when we get that in hand, but that is gonna do it for today's review, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like the freaking the, this, this specific John Cena head sculpt. This one right here. Idiot. You cross